Okay, um, I just wanted to show off the progress in the um, prototype I've been working on, um, which is a uh, kind of building upon Nick's prototype, um, specifically adding things that I feel would enhance the game to it. Um, just to point out the obvious, we have speedometer on the left, um, 750 is the base movement speed I have set up, and we have a uh, keyboard input on the right, so you can see what combination of button presses I'm doing to get what movement. Um, we have fixed in many aspects the wall dodge. Um, first of all, you can't infinitely dodge now, which some people might be disappointed with, but it just it had problems where if there was a long wall you could just kind of do that and then just keep spamming um, forward um, to keep dodging in the air and also dodging in three two things it was I don't think it was I think I created more problems and it could kind of create opportunities um, it would limit map design certainly um, without some kind of fix to it so that's my fix um, boost dodge is removed you can't boost dodge anymore um, and if you do a dodge, the height you gain is different to if you do a wall dodge now, they're two separate um, variables going to each one, um, or vectors, you would say, as they're vectors. Um, you can also now, uh, whilst falling, do a dodge um, before you just kind of flopping around. Um, as for the cooldown, you can still do pretty. I'm gonna mess this up now. Yeah, like just like that. You can still do crazy combination of dodges um, and trick jumps. I'll do this one again. There we go. So you can dodge off that. You can't really see it from here because of the textures, but you can dodge off that box um, and then air dodge off that wall and land over there, which is pretty cool. Um, you've got to get like aiming right and the timing right, but it's um, cool. Nonetheless, slam has been balanced. You now have a recovery animation or period after you land from a slam that you can't move. Um, it's most obvious here where I'm gonna dodge off and then slam, and then there we go. I land and I can't really, I can't move for a third of a second which makes you vulnerable, um, so it, it balances where, as in if you'd um, try to get an air shot on someone and they'd slam down, you can just shoot them on the ground because they can't move for a fraction of a second. We have removed the momentum innately in the uh, game, but we've added the way to conserve momentum for a brief period of time of half a second by pressing the shift bar. Um, you can't um, dodge into another dodge, so you can't whilst sliding, you can't dodge. You can wall dodge whilst sliding though, um, so if you do a dodge slide then you can wall dodge um, whilst the duration of the slide is still active, which it is in that case. Um, uh, that's basically a balance issue where you can't just keep um, sliding and dodging and sliding and dodging and end up with 6,000 move speed, which I managed to get on a bigger map before um, very easily. You can go infinite, you can go infinitely fast if you can keep sliding and dodging, so it's, it's not good. Um, I'm stuck in the studio, there we go. Sliding, I'd imagine have a sound effect in game, so if you're going to do something like slide on this corner, um, the other guy would be able to hear you doing it. Um, and also the problem with sliding is if you're sliding you don't have a great deal of control. Um, or as if you you can kind of slide and then move but you lose your forward momentum. You, you don't go as far. Um, so sliding and moving to the left or the right is pretty much pointless, it's just faster to just do that than to kind of go like that and you know, get it wrong like I just did. Um, sliding seems to be, I don't think it's unbalanced, it doesn't have the same issue that jump dodge did 
because you're firmly on terra firma um, and you're not floating around. I mean, with jump dodge, you could get a lot of height because you get the height from the dodge and then you get the additional height from the jump after the dodge. And where slide, you get the speed from the dodge, but you don't get any vertical component, which means you don't have to scale maps um, to be larger to give players greater freedom of movement, which is nice. With a slide, you can have slightly better freedom of movement without having um, the horrendous size maps that people complain about. Um, and you can still have like, these maps. It seems to be designed for not crazy movement. Um, and I've not discovered any slides which make it completely broken. Um, it just kind of allows you to wall jump from a dodge um, directly. So if you do that, and you want to get behind there, or if you wanted to hit that wall, you could aim it a little bit at a more cute angle. So jump, slide, slide, and that. And the side was still on cool down there, but you can do that kind of thing where right? you do a jump, slide, jump, slide, jump, and, um, and the really good players would be able to chain it better together than I can. Um, so that was another one where I did a Jump, uh, jump, slide, bounce off this wall, landed, slid, bounce off this pillar, went up there. Um, and again, it might look like it's fast and it means you can hit some of the projectile, but if you saw somebody sliding towards its pillar, um, you know that they can, if they want to come in this direction towards you, or if they want to, if they want to head in any way, into this area of the room, they can only war dodge off at a certain angles because um, you can't war dodge like that. So you can only war dodge and land around there. So if I just explain it, so you do the jump slide, jump slide, jump. Um, you can only land in this general direction. So if you saw someone coming towards like that, doing that kind of thing, you could just stick a flak shell there and <laughs> it would land on their face as they landed from their jump. Um, whereas if you were doing jump dodges, um, you could just like, jump dodge into this room and jump dodge over here and jump dodge over here and then jump dodge over here. And there's there's no pattern to your movement, so it's not possible to predict where the play is going to be, which makes it much harder to down these areas where you get stuck. Hopefully, you can be able to fix that phase soon. Um, with sliding, there's much less. It's much more predictable where you're going to be because with a slide you can only be in so many places based on your trajectory. Um, so it's much e easier to uh, much easier to kind of predict uh, movement with slides, which makes them strong because you can move fast for longer, but not too strong. It's in my opinion. So I'll cut it short there. Um, I think that goes over everything I want to say. I want to keep the video a little bit shorter than the past ones, I hope people are interested. They seem to be the previous videos have had a lot of positive response. A few people don't like it, but whatever. If you don't like it, then that's you know your prerogative. A lot of people do, and it's definitely going to get released as a mutator or a mod um, at some point, whether it's in the, the core game or not. Uh, I've put a lot of time into it. Um, conceptually and kind of actually just working through the blue blueprint so it's going to see the light of day at some point just whether people want it in a full game or, or in the core game or as a mod is you know based on user feedback and what epic want so that'll do see ya